Induction of labor is, in my mind, one of the most controversial and difficult subject to master. A typical pregnancy is 40 weeks, 280 days, plus minus two weeks. That is the average length of pregnancy. So when we talk about inducing labor, we're talking about going against mother nature to shorten the duration for either medical or more recently for elective reason. I think it is very important for you to understand what does that mean to undergo induction of labor. Let me start off by saying that we do not understand the basic physiology of labor. What does that mean? It means we do not know how to start labor or we don't know how to stop one's labor. So I'm going to start with that. Then why talk about induction of labor? I, th I want to say induction of labor kind of became trendy starting 70s. First of all, the medication we use Pitocin was first synthesized in 1953, and it became available to use later on in 70s, and certainly now it is probably the most used and overused drug in obstetrical medicine. And when Dr. Edward Bishop came out with pelvic scoring system in 1964, I bet he never thought that induction of labor would take place one out of three pregnant women in this country. Yes, it is one out of three. So if you're watching this, that means one out of three of you will undergo this artificial process with the hope of having vaginal delivery and the same number one out of three will, of you will undergo cesarean section. So, it is very important to understand, is induction of labor necessary? If so, what are my options in terms of methods? And what does the timeline, timeline look like? Does it take a day or days? Pros and cons. I always talk about the relationship you should have with your provider being the most important part of your prenatal care. Because no matter where you start out with your health and wellness, you know what? If you go to a group practice where there are 10 or 12 doctors, it's a really difficult process and planning to figure out how the ending would be. So for me, I want to really prep you to understand that induction of labor is an artificial process that you must take it very seriously and agree to it only if there's a clear medical indication. 